In this video we're going to compare the HEMA HN7 uh, versus the HEMA HX1. So these are both um, HEMA's uh, currently supported um, navigators that are out on the market. The HN7 has been on the market for about four years now. Uh, the HX1 has been out for about two years. Just coming up two years now, yep. Um, so they both have a seven inch screen. They both run iGo as the street program. So they've got camps, points of interest built in there. Uh, multi-point routes, everything like that is it's the same across the HN7, the HX1, the HX1 iGo program just has a little bit nicer interface but other than that uh, they're much the same in terms of functionality um, and that's pretty much where most of the uh, similarities uh, are with <laughs> That's pretty much where most of the similarities uh, finish with the HN7 and the HX1. So HN7 uh, has a video input, so you can uh, plug your reverse camera into this and have your uh, reverse camera image uh, show on your navigator, which is uh, quite useful. A lot of people use that, just so there's one less screen on the, um, the dash. Uh, the HX1 doesn't have that at all, so there's no reverse camera uh, connectivity functionality at all. Uh, HN7 uh, battery wise you'll get maybe between an hour to an hour and a half depending on your screen brightness uh, whereas the HX1 you'll get up to six hours possibly more depending on their screen brightness. Uh, updates are all done by Wi-Fi with the HX1 so just connect up to your home phone or hotspot off your um, so all the updates for the HX1 are done by Wi-Fi just so so all the updates for the HX1 are done via Wi-Fi, so just connect to your home uh, internet or hotspot off your phone and install any updates and that sort of thing. Uh, whereas the HN7 being a bit older, still runs on a Windows CE platform, it does need to connect to a Windows PC to do the updates for the street program or anything like that. So that can be quite restrictive, so no Mac support or anything like that um, at the moment. Uh, the HX1 basically eliminates that all together so just having it by Wi-Fi only and never needing to connect up to a PC um, so the other main difference then comes in the four drive side of things so mapping wise that they look fairly similar so they, they've got the same um, data in there that HEMA go around and collect um, but the way the HN7 works is it's got a whole stack of maps at different scales so, it's just, so these are all the maps that are in the current area that were on the screen. Um, they're at different scales. So this is a 1 to 150,000 scale map. And then we can um, go back out to uh, the next one, which I think will be the 1 to 250,000 uh, topo. And they get you know, less and less scale from there. So you can have less detail, uh, but different um, points of interest may be on there um, in terms of that. Uh, a little bit different for the HX1. So the HX1 has multiple maps of uh, just at different zoom levels. So as you zoom in, you'll see the map re-render itself with more and more detail or less and less detail as you scroll out. It does have a load of other uh, maps which are available uh, to use, but most of those do require internet connection. So you need to do that at home for your route planning and that sort of thing. Um, the HN7, you can load in third-party maps, so completely separate to HEMA's mapping content that they want you to use or anything like that. You can load on uh, geological maps or um, country fire association maps or anything like that, um, which is quite good and you know, a lot of people do use that, especially for um, prospecting in WA. Uh, whereas the HX1, you are very restricted by the maps that uh, HEMA say that you can use. Um, they are adding to those, but, you know, it's still, yeah, a little bit restrictive. So, they're the main subtle differences. So, I'm just going to go through all the, the pros and cons for for these. So, you, you'll see these on the screen now. So, the HN7 Pros, it's got the video port for the reverse camera, which is great. Uh, can load additional third-party maps. The, the cons for it is um, four-wheel drive Aussie Explorer program. The interface can be a little hard to use at times, uh, a little hard to learn to use. 
um, I do have a training course for that so you know, that can eliminate that at least. Uh, battery life as I mentioned is about up to an hour and a half if you're lucky. Um, to export four drive tracks or waypoints you need to use the HEMA Navigator Explorer program which is can only run on Windows PCs and you do need to use a uh, annoying little program called Windows Mobile Device Center. But in saying that the, the HX1 um, pros uh, easy updates via Wi-Fi so as I mentioned just connect to your home Wi-Fi like you do with an iPad or your phone or anything like that and the updates can install and so forth. Uh, good battery life, so up to six hours battery life uh, which is great when you're wanting to go you know, trail biking or hiking. Um, easy to use interface. Uh, HEMA's Run, uh, owns this program so they're making subtle changes as they need to uh, based on customers feedback. Um, you get three years of free street map updates um, straight off the bat with the HX1. Uh, the HN7 had two years so if you do pick up a brand new one for the H, brand new HN7 you'll get two years of free updates but if you're buying a second hand HN7 most likely that two years of free update periods has expired so you will be up for purchasing some map updates. Um, the HX1 has the HEMA cloud backup facility so it's basically a, a service that HEMA run that all of your tracks, routes, waypoints, everything like that can sync to if your device dies, falls in the water, anything like that um, basically it's all backed up on their servers you get a new device and it syncs back onto your device and away you go um, that HEMA cloud service does also work with the HEMA Explorer apps on the iPhone iPads and Android devices so if you you are running one of those as well as the HX1 uh, you can have the same data on all of those so it's always good to have a little backup I normally have the HEMA Explorer app on my phone as well as having the HX1 um, the HX1 does have a built-in camera so 5 megapixel camera so it's not huge but you know, it's certainly good enough to take some photos of uh, at waypoints or uh, family videos or anything like that when you may not have your phone with you or it's dead. Um, cons, so no third party map support um, in here other than what HEMAs allow you to. So just to show you what those, so you, you will get uh, these HEMA maps uh, so that will be on your device uh, but if you're wanting extra map sources, uh, there's like New South Wales Topo, Victorian Topo, so forth. So these are uh, the state government um, topographical information. Uh, there's also New Zealand Topo and uh, WA Topo is just a fairly recent addition as well. So you do get access to those but as mentioned they do require internet connection or for you to download them for offline use. The cons, um, so yeah no third party map, map support. Uh, no reverse camera functionality. Um, you can only export your tracks or waypoints via that HEMA Explorer cloud that I mentioned. So you have to sync all your data via Wi-Fi or home internet to the HEMA cloud, log on to a particular website, and then you can download your um, GPX files for the tracks or routes or uh, waypoints. Um, you do have limited storage, so I think with the latest HEMA Explorer maps that are on there, um, you'll have about three and a half to four gig of available storage. So that's three and a half or four gig of map storage for any other maps that you want. Um, so you can download more detailed maps. So when you're um, online, you can get right down to you know zoom level 15, 16, which is your close to your one to 25, one to 18,000 scale. So to do that, it does require it to be downloaded onto the device prior. Uh, so this does use some storage, so if you are travelling pretty extensively, you're going to be hitting a lot of uh, national parks, you may want to download some areas and you will need to manage that storage a little bit more so than um, yeah, if you had more space. Um, the SD card storage, so there, is, there is an SD card slot. Uh, but that is only for photos and videos, not for map storage. I believe that is something that HEMA is looking, at ch looking into to be able to have the map stored on the SD card, but not sure how that's going or any time frame for that.